posture friends. Today we're going to look at three poses that help reverse the effects of sway back. If you read uh, my blog, you learned that in sway back, the upper back actually sways back, moves back, and the lumbar spine, this section, sways forward and the pelvis tucks under, compensating our shoulders rolling forward and head coming forward. So it's a, a fairly significant misalignment in the spine that can lead to all kinds of problems and pain in the back. And these three poses will address the issues that you experience. Uh, but one of the main disconnects with sway back happens where the thoracic spine meets the lumbar spine. And this can be a very sensitive, problematic area that we're gonna address and really focus on, as well as bringing the pelvis more into an anterior tilt. But because everything is connected, we're gonna do some warm up for the shoulders with shoulder circles. So I'm doing these kneeling for video purposes, but you can do them standing or sitting in a chair. With an inhalation, shrug up. And I want you to give a little squeeze to these trapezius muscles. When we let go, there'll be uh, refreshed blood flow into them. Bring shoulders and arms back and wake up those muscles between the shoulder blades, the rhomboids, and then depress the arms and roll forward, billowing the back body. And you can do this in smooth circles in the shoulders, but give a squeeze when you come up to shoulders towards ears. And of course, we'll go in both directions. Do the shoulder circles three to five times and repeat one to two times. The next pose is a pretty classic pose. It's called wall sit. And bring yourself to a wall, take a seat. But before you come upright, really try to lift your sitting bones up or crane them up towards the sky. Lowering yourself down, come more erect. You wanna to try to have a right angle at the knee, angles below knees. And then this disconnect and sway back, the upper body can be way forward. Take two fists right at the base of the rib cage and bring this rib cage back right over your pelvis and then head over the shoulders. You're gonna feel right away that the quads start working, but we're not overtaxing the main hip flexor in this pose. And this uh, hip flexor can get overstretched with sway back. Everything is working in the legs or even toning some in the abs with this posture. Hold 30 seconds to a minute. Repeat one to two times. All right, next we'll go to the floor. And you'll lie on the floor, feet on the wall. With feet on the wall, the action is going to have to come from the abdominal muscles in this posture and not, again, from the hip flexor muscle. It can stay somewhat relaxed. In this pose, you want to focus on, it, it is a pretty much a stomach crunch, so the rib cage goes towards the pubic bone and pubic bone towards the rib cage. To avoid any tension in the neck, bring your hands behind your heads, and instead of floppy arms, bring your elbows, upper arms towards your face. With an exhalation, I'd like you to engage in the midsection and come up just a little bit. And here, resist your head into your hand, or it'll feel like you're holding a heavy bowling ball. Now watch this midsection as I exhale. That's where you want to work. Another exhale. Inhale and exhale. So much action right here, heavy resisted head in your hands to release the neck and then come on down. All right, you can repeat this one to three times and notice I took three to four breaths trying to come up more deeply each time with the focus in the midsection. That does it for our postures to help reverse sway back. The more you do them, the more you're going to start to feel this new normal in your body. And this is where you want to get to so that when you're sitting and standing, you're coming a little bit more into an erect posture 
And these actions will start to map physically into your body with the repeat of these just three poses a day. Can you do them or find ways to put them into your day? That's the challenge, not so much the postures, but find the way to do them one or once or twice a day and then cultivate your awareness to have more of an 